All right. Number one, disorganization. So disorganization in a business is a huge distraction, not only to you as a business owner, but it also damages your staff and also your potential clients and customers. Uh, one of the things that people don't realize is when you are disorganized, everybody suffers because organization in a, a, uh, a new startup company comes from the top down, right? So if you are a disorganized business owner, it is seen by your staff and therefore your staff will meet you with the same energy that you put forth. So if you are very organized, then your staff will follow suit as well, as long as they're competent to keep up. And that's something that you will have to determine as you hire and fire people along the way, because you will hire and, excuse me, and have to fire people. It's a part of the job. So some of the things to combat that if you are disorganized, get some outside help, whether you can uh, ask for someone like a spouse or a, a organized friend to fill that void to help keep you accountable with being more organized, or you can outsource that all, all together and have somebody that is not a part of your company or not a part of your circle to actually serve as a uh, a potential accountability partner to help you stay organized. All right. The second thing is other people's limitations. When you first start your business or when you first start talking about it, you're going to come across people and meet people that will tell you that there's certain things you can't do. You can't start the business this way. You can't get in. Uh, you're not going to be able to get into that space. So this sector is too, uh, too saturated, right? But those people are speaking from their limited beliefs of things that they couldn't do or things that they would not be able to accomplish. So therefore, it is within your best judgment to operate on your self-research and the things that you know you can do on your own, within your own self-confidence. So eliminating those two distractions will help you greatly. So first we said, being disorganized is a is a death to all startup businesses, right? So you want to find people that can help you be accountable or people that will uh, take on that load for you. Second thing is uh, not, not following other people's self-limiting beliefs. People limit themselves on things that they know that they can't do, and therefore they project it onto you, telling you things that you can't do. And then third, inadequate skills or knowledge about business. If you are starting a business, it is your job to make sure that you are uh, very well ver very well versed in that industry. However, if you are not, you make sure that you surround yourself with the people that, that have the skill set so that your company can be successful. So in today's world, we outsource a lot of things that have virtual assistance or virtual partnerships where we can get things done. If you're not strong in that area, it is your duty to make sure you outsource and have somebody that can help you with those items. It's very simple. A lot of people start off their company and think that they have to be a one man show, but it's not necessary to be a one man show if you don't have one, the tools to, to, to do every aspect that's needed. And two, if you don't have the skill set to learn those things and be able to do it efficiently, then you're wasting your time. You can still be an effective business owner, um, even if you don't know how to do everything in the business yourself, okay? And I'm a living testament to that. Uh, I own two successful hospice companies in the state of Georgia, but I'm not clinical. So it was a must that either I partner with or hire great clinical staff to make sure that my companies um, met the needs of our patients. And that's what I had to do. So I know you can do it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand what that looks like.